So hi, hello and welcome again, Micro Punter here and I'm going to do a little bit of staining uh, today again and I've got over here in the background six different stains and uh, over here, um, yeah, these are basically the stems of a plant and what I would like to do is I would like to experiment now with a uh, yeah, new microtome principle. You probably know those uh, microtomes here, this is a homemade one, um, but I'm not going to be using those, I'm going to be using this, uh, this laundry clip as a microtome and I would like to see how this actually works. I think it does prove to be promising and it's a very simple. So what did I do here? Well, um, yeah, I collected uh, a plant. Uh, yeah, it was ca called the so-called sword lily. Um, yeah, not so relevant now. It's a monocot plant. And what I did, I, I, I cut the stem into different parts and put it into alcohol. Um, and um, it started to uh, take out the chlorophyll and of course also the water. So this means that's why it's a little bit greenish. Um, what I've done is, is over the last couple of days, I have uh, you know simply yeah, I depigmented it, and I've always every after every day I've exchanged. Yeah, be careful that it doesn't run out. I've always exchanged the alcohol, and you can see that uh, yeah, it has uh, turned uh, quite green. And then I also always refilled it again with uh, fresh alcohol. And uh, this basically this way it started to not only lose water but also the pigment, and and that's fine. Um, and uh, what I would like to do now is I would like to uh, make a cross section um, of uh, this stem here. It's going to be squeezed a little bit uh, because the, um, yeah, of the pressure, but I think even that is okay. And then what you do is you just uh, yeah, do the same thing. You take the razor blade and, uh, it, yeah, and I found that this actually works, e well, it works better. This is still too thick. And then you have to kind of carefully push it out a little bit. And then it's kind of trial and error um, because uh, some of them are going to be thicker, some of them are going to be thinner, uh, but they'll be fine. Um, be, you just basically then pick those that work best. Yeah. I mean, and it doesn't have to be perfect either. Yeah? But I think it works. Uh, um, I did not have the time yet to do this, but I've got a washer here. It does have some some edges that you might want to sand away. But maybe using some epo epoxy glue, it would be possible maybe to glue it like this. You that it, yeah, one edge just aligns with the clamp. Yeah, and then just glue it on one side here. Right, and then you have something you're able to do it like this. Yeah. So for staining, uh, I'll be using the following technique. Okay, um, I will uh, be adding the stain uh, to those, or I'll be adding those uh, things to the stain, and then I'm going to give it a few minutes, and then I have to wash it. Uh, washing it basically means I'm going to rinse it in, in water. So let's uh, have a quick look at them under the microscope uh, for first, uh, for first, um, yeah, quality check. This is a nice one. Look, um, um, in the center, um, the white area, I've cut away too much. So the, the center was lost, but that's okay. I can imagine many of the cells are also ver running vertically, um, especially the xylem. Um, so, of course, you're going to get the nice cross sections this way. So the first one is going to be the Pelican ink. This is just regular fountain pen ink. Okay, so I'm going to be adding a drop here. And the next one is Löffler's solution, which is uh, basically methylene blue uh, plus alcohol plus uh, potassium hydroxide. There is a specific uh, formulation. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to just, uh, yeah. yeah, and put it on here. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here with this one here as well. And we're going to put it in here and then we're going to make a decision. But cover glass is always a good idea because otherwise there's also the danger that you're going to yeah, make the objective uh, wet, something you don't want. Be adding a little bit of water beneath the cover glass. And here as well. And that's basically how it looks like and I can already tell you it's not the way that I want it to look like because the cell walls did not really take up the color very well. That's why we're experimenting around, okay? Um, these things in here, of course, are the individual cells. They have a cell wall. That's why they're quite easily visible. And those things that you see over here are called the vascular bundles. This is basically where you have uh, cells, long cells that carry up uh, water um, up the plant and uh, um, also nutrients like the sugar that was made by the leaves down the plant. So the two uh, types of vessels are called xylem and phloem. And here, ah, yeah, that's as expected. You know, that's methylene blue. We can already see, I mean, we have to, look, the, the bubbles, right? I mean, the bubbles also look kind of, <laughs> I don't know, nice. Uh, but here we can already see some, some two different uh, interesting things that happened. Um, number one, 
it's me. Yeah, some of the cell walls actually are more blue, but more, more, more notably, sometimes also the cell's contents has been stained. So look, yeah, sometimes the inside of the cell is white. Yeah, that's basically, yeah. And sometimes it's also blue because uh, the cell membrane was still intact. And you can also see that the, the, the cell wall is a little bit more blue. So generally I feel, yeah, here again, a vascular bundle. Yeah, you can also see that when focusing, there is a certain thickness to the cells as well. Um, so we see that uh, take home message, <laughs> methylene blue works better than, than fountain pen ink. However, I do have to tell you that fountain pen ink does also have its merits. Um, it can be used, for example, to stain cheek cells yeah, uh, quite well, um, but uh, evidently not, uh, not, not plant cells. So the next one would be iodine and acetocarmine. Acetocarmine actually is not the yeah, is actually used to stain chromosomes, which we're probably not going to which we're not going to see here. Um, but this one is iodine, which is actually uh, used for staining starch. So we're probably not going to see a lot here. So my expectations are fairly low for this. And this one over here is uh, actually used for, as I mentioned, for staining uh, chromosomes. And, and DNA, um, not um, intended for yeah, these cells here, uh, but uh, we're going to still give it a, a, a try. I'm going to just lift it out and put it into yeah, the water over here. So then it's been kind of washed and rinsed. Yeah, we see already there was some kind of a nice staining reaction happening here. Quickly take it up and yeah, put it in here. Yeah, it's difficult to see. Now, if you don't uh, rinse it and if you don't uh, yet yeah, de-stain it, then there is, uh, of course, uh, the possibility that uh, everything is going to be so pigmented and stained that you're not able to see anything at all. Here it is, and here it is. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so we we have to ignore the bubbles again. So pretty much everything's yellow. Um, but what about here on the side? I need to now really turn up the brightness. I mean, you do see that the cell walls here um, on the outside do seem to stain darker, but something what I kind of was hoping to see, I'm, I'm not seeing. I was hoping to see some kind of starch deposits. Why? Because the outside was green. Could it be because on the outside it's green and therefore photosynthesis is happening there? Um, I don't know if, if um, yeah, these in here on the outside are actually tiny little starch grains. Um, if you cut, of course, the stem to thin so that the cells are cut open then of course also the contents are lost be that maybe those dark dots on the outside here which you actually see mostly on the cells here on the periphery not so much on the cells here further in the center they are these dark dots which i i hope or assume could be um, starch grains Okay, because the outside um, um, is green because this is where um, yeah photosynthesis happens you actually see it over here yeah that's again the other one. So acetocarmine, which is actually used for staining DNA. So my expectations are really not high here. My expectations are not high here and it almost looks like if it's not stained. So uh, why is this still of relevancy? Uh, because it shows that you choose, of course, the stain um, based on the um, you know, substance or the, the components or the parts that you want to make better visible. Stains were actually do know that they work quite well as well. <laughs> one of them is called saffronin. Um, yeah, it's a one percent aqueous. Um, I bought the saffronin powder from a microscopy shop, and then I added some distilled water. Okay, so we add a drop here. Crystal violet is also a very strong stain. So in case uh, maybe some of you have been following the live stream a little bit, I've, a couple of months ago I complained, not complained, but I simply mentioned it. Look at for all those, those blue dots here on the, on the surface. That's all crystal violet, which was uh, very difficult again to, to remove. So you see it turns really red. So here we go. Um, yeah, uh, cover glass goes on top of each one again. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're going to give it a try. And I think uh, that's actually one of the more pretty, um, yeah, pretty ones. And we can now quite nicely, okay, we ignore the air bubbles again. <laughs> um, let's go up here. Yeah, I probably should have de-stained it a little bit more. And some cells seem to be more transparent, right? And this is uh, uh, yeah, those cells that have lost the contents. 
like those over here. Uh, that's actually quite nice because what we can actually see again is the following, how the membrane has separated uh, from the cell wall. So on the outside here, we see that the cell wall has now, yeah, has now uh, assumed uh, taken on a red pigment. And over here, this seems to be maybe the cell membrane with cells contents, which is separated over here from the cell wall. So we're able to see actually like uh, right through the cell. And this here is now crystal violet. Um, yeah, you can also see that uh, the crystal violet has now stained the, the cell's contents, but some of them appear to be way brighter, either because they were cut open or because the cell membrane has separated. Yeah, so that is uh, basically right at the, um, um, yeah, where, uh, because I was cutting it uh, diagonally all the way where it becomes very thin. Um, so uh, we see, you see over here that where it's so thin that uh, the, most of the cells are actually uh, cut open and, and therefore they appear to be white on the inside. But the important thing is, is that you see that the cell wall definitely also now has a red color and uh, sometimes you still see, especially with the smaller cells here, you see that, this one here and this one here, uh, they seem to be still intact more or less. So, um, and the others, um, I've, uh, the larger ones here, have cut open and therefore um, they've lost the cells contents. And another thing that I just want to mention over here is especially those cells of the vascular bundle that we have over here, um, they all seem to be white on the inside as expected because uh, they um, are hollow tubes that carry uh, the water. So for example, those uh, cells here with a thick cell wall, I know that this is xylem which transports water up the plant. And of course, these are long tubes um, and uh, therefore these long tubes of course are hollow. Also here, a similar case uh, where the cell wall um, has taken on the stain. Uh, take, a, take a picture of this and then put it up on your wall. <laughs> yeah, as, as a, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do with it now is uh, um, um, as follows. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to just, uh, concerning the staining, I'm just going to leave it at that. If you joined in a little bit later, um, I have just want to inform you that I've tried now six different stains. Uh, of which uh, some of them worked quite nicely, others didn't work at all. Yeah, And uh, that's simply something that I wanted to show you and, and also share with you so that I can kind of, uh, also learn something in the process. Yeah, um, And um, safranin and, and what we've got here, crystal violet, they are pretty strong stains. Yeah? And uh, this is pretty cool. Look, it's actually very nice. Yeah, So I'm quite happy that uh, yeah, this, uh, this works.